What's up, fellow humans? Let's do this. If everyone acts in their own self-interest, does that make everyone narcissists? You know, narcissist is a pretty particular, specific diagnosis. Whether or not we act in our own self-interest all the time is, of course, debatable. Uh, it's possible we help just because we want to help. And does wanting to act altruistically make the act self-interested? Uh, we probably feel good when we help others, but does that mean that we help them because we wanted to feel good at some level, at the subconscious level? It's hard to know, right? And oftentimes we have mixed motives for why we do what we do. And if one of those motives is self-interest and some of those are not, does that mean we acted out of self-interest? It's complicated, right? It's, it's very hard to know uh, why humans do what we do, but at some level we are probably all trying to meet our own needs. Yes, does that make everyone uh, narcissist? Not necessarily. We need to um, pull up a definition of narcissism. One second. Okay, so I'm not an expert on narcissistic personality disorder, but I did pull up the diagnostic criteria from the DSM-5. And some of, I won't read all of this to you, but we have um, impairments in identity, which is excessive reference to others for self-definition and self-esteem regulation, exaggerated self-appraisal, maybe inflated or deflated, or vacillate between extremes. Emotional regulation mirrors fluctuations in self-esteem. Uh, or self-direction. Goal setting is based on gaining approval from others. Personal standards are unreasonably high in order to see oneself as exceptional or too low based on a sense of entitlement, often unaware of own motivations. And impairments in interpersonal functioning, which could include uh, empathy, impaired ability to recognize or identify with the feelings and needs of others, excessively attuned to reactions of others, but only perceived as relevant to self, uh, and intimacy, relationships largely superficial and exist to serve self-esteem regulation, mutually cons uh, mutuality constrained by little genuine interest in others' experiences and predominance of a need for personal gain. Um, other pathological personality traits here, we have antagonism, which is characterized by grandiosity and attention seeking, uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So, um, Bottom line is you can be interested in yourself, <laughs> in your self-growth and self-improvement and self-betterment uh, without necessarily following into this extreme uh, lacking of empathy, you know, feeling of kind of arrogant self-grandiosity. Uh, just because in some sense my world may revolve around me doesn't mean that I believe the whole world revolves around me, if that makes sense. And that might be one way to distinguish just being a regular self-interested human from being a narcissist. But again, I'm no expert on this. That's just um, a couple thoughts from the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders, 5th edition. So <laughs> there you have it. Uh, appreciate you all. Thanks for asking. Thanks everybody for tuning in. Please like the video if you haven't. Uh, share any of your thoughts down below, and I'll see you next time.